In this video, we're going to be talking about solving systems of equations by elimination. We're going to go ahead and look at this equation. We have one equation is 3x plus 7y equals 14. And we have 2x plus 7y equals 21. On both equations, we don't have any variable. The, the coefficient of, of, what, of it is 1. On uh, this one, we have the coefficient to be 2, 3, 7, 7. So it's, we don't have something that is y by itself or x by itself. So we're going to have to add or subtract to, elim to eliminate one variable. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look and see if there's a, a common multiple of x or y. You get to choose which one. And you always want to go ahead and do a small, the smallest um, common multiple as possible. And this, we got lucky and we're able to see that we have two numbers that are the same. One is 7y and 7y. So in one of those, I'm going to go ahead and just turn one of those into a negative. So we're able to eliminate uh, one of the variables. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one to, elim uh, to eliminate the variable y. And we're just going to go ahead and multiply everything negative 1 multiply everything we're just going to bring down this equation 3x plus 7y equals 14 and then we're going to go ahead and multiply it's going to be negative 2x negative set a positive 7 times negative 1 is going to be negative 7y equals negative times a positive negative 21. so here it goes we're going to cancel one so we're, like I said, we're going to be adding or subtracting the equation. So on this one, it's going to go ahead and cancel that. And then we're going to have 3x minus 2x com combined like terms. It's going to be just x by itself equals 14 minus 21 because we have two different uh, signs. We have a positive 14 and negative. So it's going to be negative 7. So once we go ahead and solve for x, all we have to go ahead and do now is plug in uh, your x, which is negative 7, into any of the equations you want. So I'm going to go ahead and use this x equals negative 7 into the first equation. And wherever I see x, I'm just going to plug in negative 7. So I'm going to go and put 3 parentheses negative 7 plus 7y equals 14 because now I'm going to be trying to solve for y so we're going to go ahead and do this 3 times negative 7 to be negative 21 plus 7y equals 14 after we do that that becomes a two-step equation so remember you Still having problems with two-step equation, you can go back and look at my two-step equation video to just refresh. So negative 21, we're gonna do whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're gonna do on the other side. So it's gonna do positive 21. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side. So it's gonna cancel. Now you have 7y equals 21 plus 14. It's gonna give you 35. Because we're adding because two of the same signs, positive and positive. Then since this is multiplying, the opposite of multiplication is division. Let's divide by 7. Now we're going to have y equals 5. So when you go ahead and write it down, you can go ahead and write it down as negative 7. Because that's your x. And then you can say your y is going to be 5. In this example, we have negative x minus 7y equals 9 for the first equation. And in the second equation, we have negative x plus 9y equals negative 23. So this one, we did get lucky because we have one equal coefficient of 1 on, on both of them. So all we have to do, remember, to eliminate one, one has to be a negative and one has to be a positive. So I want to go ahead and choose the bottom one and just multiply that by a negative one to be able to eliminate x. So on this one, I'm going to eliminate x 
and solve for y and then I'm going to go ahead and get y and solve for x. So I'm going to bring down the first equation. Nothing's going to happen to the first equation. Negative x minus 7y equals 9. Then I'm going to do negative times a negative. It's going to be positive x. And neg positive times a negative is going to be negative 9y equals negative times a negative. is going to be positive 23. So you go ahead and do that. You're going to try to eliminate 1. In this case, I'm eliminating, like I said before, x because the negative and the positive is going to eliminate. Then we're going to have negative 16 y because we're adding because we have two of the same signs equals and then we have two of the same size which will have 23 and 9 and that's going to give us 32 divide by negative 16 whatever we do on one side of the equal sign don't forget you have to do it on the other side of the equal sign so now we're going to have y by itself this cancels equals a negative times a positive is a negative and 16 goes into 32 two times so now that we have y you can go ahead and put y into one of the fractions you can choose anyone I'm gonna go ahead and choose the top equation for this one so I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in y as a negative 2 we're gonna leave that as negative x minus 7 what is y? It's going to be negative 2 equals 9. So we still have negative x. Negative times a negative is a positive 14 equals 9. To get rid of, this becomes a one step equation, two step equation, I'm sorry. Negative 14. Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you got to do it on the other side. It's going to cancel these negative x equals two different signs of 9 and a 14 we're going to subtract what's bigger 9 or 14 14 so what's in front of the 14 is a negative sign so you're going to have a negative and then you're going to go ahead and subtract it's going to give you 5 so now remember the rules we cannot have the variable to be it's by itself but it's negative so we got to get rid of the negative and make it a positive variable so x equals negative times negative positive 5. So we go ahead and write it down as 5 as your answer 5 and your y which is going to be negative 2. For well, this problem we do we have first equation to be 7x minus y equals negative 10 and on the other equation we have negative 7x plus 5y equals negative 6. If you haven't yet, go ahead and like and subscribe the video. If you're having friends that are having problems with this as well, don't forget you can go ahead and share the video with them. So let's go ahead and start with this. We got lucky in this equation because we have one that is a positive and one that is negative. So before we start, if you want to go ahead and try solving it on your own you can go ahead and pause the video now and you can check your work after if you got the same answers or where did you went wrong and how to fix it but we're going to go ahead here and automatically we can uh, eliminate x because we have a positive and we have a negative so we can go ahead and eliminate that there and we can go ahead and add this too which is going to give you 4y equals two of the same signs negatives would be negative 16 and go ahead divide whatever we do on one side of the equal signs you're going to do it on the other side now we have y equals negative 4 so now we go ahead and choose any of the equations uh, the first one or the bottom one and just put in your answer i'm always remember like i said math is always you want to make it as easy as possible for yourself. Here you have 7x plus 5y. Here it has 7x minus y equals negative 10. So I'm going to go whatever is going to be easier. For me, I think it's going to be the first equation. It's going to be easier. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it there. 7x 
minus minus 4 equals negative 10. And then we'll go ahead and solve for it. So 7x it becomes positive 4 equals negative 10. Let's go ahead and minus 4, whatever we do on one side of the equal sign. Go ahead and do the other one. So we have 7x equals two of the same size. So we're going to give you negative 14. Then we're going to divide by 7. Remember, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, go ahead and do it on the other side. So balance them out. So we have x equals 7 goes into 14. That'd be 2 times. So your answer, you can go ahead and plug it in as x, which is negative 2. And your y, which is negative 4. So this uh, problem we're doing x plus 10y equals 3. That's our first equation. Our second equation is 4x plus 5y equals 5. For me, I'm going to go ahead and try to eliminate y. Because I feel like that one's the easiest y. y is the easiest one to get eliminated. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this by negative 2 to be able to, to eliminate y so I'm going to bring down the first equation I don't touch nothing from this first equation and I'm just going to multiply negative 2 times 4x so we're going to go ahead multiply everything by whatever is there inside the parentheses. So we're going to go ahead and do negative 8x, the positive times the negative is going to be negative 10y, the positive times the negative will be negative 10. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate y because we have 10y positive and a negative 10y and then we're just going to go ahead and add them uh, x positive minus 8x is going to give you negative 7x equals negative 7. Then we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 7 to leave the variable x by itself and positive. So x equals negative times a negative is going to give you a positive 1. So we're you're going to go ahead now and choose any of them. You can choose the first equation or you can choose the second equation to plug in x. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the first equation to plug in x. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 1 for x. I'm just going to go ahead and plug 1 plus 10y equals 3. And I'm going to go ahead and try to solve for y now. So it becomes a two-step equation. Negative 1, negative 1. This is going to cancel. It's going to give you 10y equals 2. This is 2 difference. We have a positive and negative. So you're going to go ahead and subtract. It's going to give you 2. You're going to divide by 10 to leave the variable y by itself. So now we have y equals 2 over 10. But if you can simplify, go ahead and simplify. So you're going to go ahead and simplify this equation by 2. So now we're going to have 1 over 5. So your answer is going to be 1 over 5. So when you write down your answer, you're going to go ahead and write x. Your x is going to be 1 and your y is going to be 1 fifth. And you can have fractions in your substitution methods or your elimination methods.